everyone, it's Jenny. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I just wanted to say thank you for those of you who are subscribed to my channel. Um, it really means a lot to me, of course. And um, every now and then I do videos and I'm gonna try to increase them all, but my schedule can get really, really crazy busy. So whenever there's kind of that gap in between, it's because I'm focused on you, okay? Um, I do a lot of work for the Ukraine and Ukraine Network, and of course I have my clients and my column to work on and my little baby girl, Bella, my dog. So um, I miss it whenever I'm not doing regular videos, but make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. Hit that little button on the corner there for subscribe and that way whenever I'm doing a new video you will definitely get notifications okay so in today's video um, we're gonna talk about the new moon in cancer okay which is on the 29th 28th of June and whenever we have a new moon it's more powerful than a full moon because it's new it's new okay this moon is also known as the Black Moon Lilith, okay? With it being a Cancer moon, of course, you know, it's more watery because Cancer is a water sign, you guys, okay? And I'm just going to give you a little bit of insights, of course, to this moon. And at the end, I'm going to pull a couple of cards and see what the collective um, with spirit has in mind for you guys as well, okay? For collective, basically. Um, so hang on there till the end of the video, the video, okay? So anyways, this moon here, by the way, it's a really positive healing moon. It's a moon of action, okay? Like some of you guys might have been having dreams coming in. Some people saying, you know what? You know, I've been having dreams and, and what's been shown to me in the dreams has happened. Absolutely. Every now and then your soul's going to bring things to the surface that you guys need to heal from. Some of you might be showing, um, you know, different messages, meaning that this is going to happen or this is what you are wishing and wanting to happen. Okay, so it's like, well, how do I know if it's going to happen? Sit back and see. Surrender the process. But really pay attention, especially whenever you're getting some really powerful messages, okay? Because it could be from your subconscious. It could be from your previous lifetime. There could be certain situations that you do need to heal from yet or let go of. So it really depends. You can always book a reading with me, of course, because I do give very detailed readings, okay? So just, you know, you're going to find that you're going to be following more, um, like, within your soul, with your own integrity, with what feels right. And you've been letting go of so many different things and situations that, you know, you've been struggling with. And especially the past few days actually you know the past little while when you really take a look at it like a lot of things that have not been in alignment with you are really really being shown and brought up okay like whatever it is you've been fighting over struggling with to let go of you know and that's your ego that's holding you holding you stuck you know they want you to stay in your old ways of doing things, your old habits and such like that. And that can be hard to let go of, right? So, you know, when the reality is your soul, your soul has been giving you loud, loud indications and messages that they're like, you know what, we really, really want you to move towards the new. What is it that you guys wanna change? You know, what is it that you're struggling with? Okay, it's like even myself, like I've been taking a lot more risks than normal and asking spirit, hey, you know what, I, I need some help with releasing this situation or this person or, you know, I really want to walk towards and, and gravitate towards this, blah, 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 whatever it is. So utilize this energy, like I always utilize the energy of what's being current, like the new moon right now, obviously. And I'm like, okay, spirit, you know what? I really need some strength into helping me gravitate towards this or to end that or to move through that or to heal through this, like whatever it is. And of course, it's never easy. 
right? Of course it's not. So when you're going with the flow of what's happening right now, that's when you know you're on your right path, okay? And surrender to the process of where it's leading you to. Like when things are flowing, you're in alignment, okay? So be open for it, right? Like if even when it's to start making the smallest changes, like start implementing the smallest changes, even every day, okay? Like I've had to implement some small changes because sometimes, you know, to make a huge leap, it can be a lot harder, you know, depending what it is. Go on your own comfort zone, okay? So release something that you guys aren't connecting with anymore. Every day, a little bit by a little bit, or sometimes somebody just jumps full-heartedly and can make certain changes fully, fully, fully full, as I call it, like, holy smokes, they jump in, boom, and there they go. And I and I do that too, don't get me wrong, but you have to go in your own comfort zone of what works for you guys, okay? So you gotta remember that what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis will determine your future, re regardless of what, okay? So with this Cancer New Moon, you will be showing, of course, what is most out of alignment um, with you, what is most important to you, what you are connecting with your heart, Okay, you might have found that um, you're standing up more for what you believe in, you're standing up for more for yourself of what you're worthy towards, you're being shown certain things from the past, like um, if it's work, if it's relationships that you're like, wow, you know, why am I all of a sudden starting to have visions or dreams of certain relationships of like romantically, if it was marriage, if it was business, if it was friendships, you know, and you're taking a look back and you're doing a lot of reviewing on that of, you know, I just, I didn't connect with that person anymore. Or I didn't connect with that relationship anymore. Or you know what, I know I deserve better than this. If it's friendship, relationship, work, everything. So see where you are now today. What did you let go of? What did you really, really work through? Okay. And some, you know, some people have might have even taken some space away from people or situations that they've needed time to heal and let go and grow. Okay. We all have our own journey. So you have to respect that with people. Okay. Whenever you just cut people off just instantaneously like that, that can come back karmically and bite you in the butt. Okay. Before you start making decisions like that, really take a look within to see if it's coming from your heart or ego. Okay, because some people are like, oh my gosh, I regret it. I did that or did this. And you know, it gives you that time to do more reflections as well. And it's all about taking a look at what lessons you were showing, what lessons you went through. Okay, that's where we have our growth because if you don't see it, you can repeat it again and again and again. If all of a sudden you're like, you know what, I'm feeling more alone, um, you take a look at, okay, who did you cut out of your life? Or who did you have to cut out of your life? Or who do you need to cut out of your life? Okay, you have to take a look at yourself. Self-love is so vital and important. It's so important. Setting boundaries is extremely important, okay? Because if you don't, you're gonna get drained. Like I get slammed consistently all day long with so many messages and I delete a lot of them. Some people just start sending me videos of a lot of things and I'm like, please don't do that because I don't watch them. I don't have the time. And you know, you could get people, you know, sending you videos that are virus, right? So be really, really careful. Okay. So I get back and answer a lot of questions to people who want to book readings. All right, um, because I've, I work 14, 16 hour days every day for, oh, for quite some time actually. Okay, so if you want to book a reading, let me know. Say, hey, I'd like to book a reading. Send it through my website is your best bet. Um, I will put that energy and information below. Okay, so make sure that whenever you're balancing things out, right, um, it's important to balance the give and receive. Okay, because if you're giving a lot more, it's going to be really hard for you to receive, okay? And whenever you're doing that, it can block prosperity and abundance and all kinds of things that are happening. So it's really important to balance things out a lot better. That's why setting boundaries, 
making time for yourself with self-love and yet being open for new opportunities that are best for your highest self and your highest opportunity as well. Okay, so a lot of um, destiny right now is going on, a lot of soul purpose with what you're drawn to, letting go of the past situations, and you've been speaking your truth more. If you really take a look at a lot of, you know, like energy has come to the surface, especially with media, with worldwide events. Um, as you guys can see, a lot more ugliness is coming out. And a lot of people are like, you know what? That's not okay anymore. I, I have issues with that situation. I, I am not supporting this anymore. Or you know what? I have to be the voice. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a real big activist with certain situations that I don't really talk about much. I am involved with a lot of different things I don't bring up. So um, you have to get involved with what you resonate with yourself. That really brings a lot of truth and alignment to who you are um i have a huge voice for humanity and animals when i feel a lot of people are getting taken advantage of i step in and i be their voice when they're scared to speak it up so i am involved with a lot of different things that are going on right um, that that's another subject so always walking your truth and speaking your truth always when you try to be somebody you're not um if you have any lower jealousies um, where you're jealous of other people, you really have to take a look back and reflect upon yourself. Uh, see where you're at. You know, we all have our own journey. We ha we all have our own path. You know, there's certain points in people's lives when, you know, things happen for them. Why would you not be happy for that person whenever they're shining, whenever they're actually working hard to really make something happen? Be happy for that person. Why, why would you like start being negative about it so there's a lot of soul reflection going on right now but really keep it real you guys okay this moon is really powerful so make sure you're utilizing its full potential okay and reset whatever you're struggling with okay start writing down your goals and create vision boards for yourself okay and start writing it down on paper because whenever you're thinking overthinking too much you're holding on to a lot of energy which can keep you awake which can cause you anxieties and fears when you start writing it down like journaling things or writing things down where you're like you know what these are what i need to prioritize myself with um, these are things that you know aren't really so important right now you're going to really take a look at okay i know i need to work on this right now um if it's work or projects or whatever it is you need to do where this stuff out of here okay you know those are goals and stuff like that and everything will come together in perfect divine timing okay i literally manifested everything i ever wanted in life so quickly and seconds before i was about to sign that contract yes there's my baby as you can see right anytime she knows i'm talking she's like hey i want to step in and, and let everybody be known this is my little baby bell bella my little girl bella right baby i actually just did a little video with her every now and then i might put her Put a little video with her in it depends what i'm hearing from soul and as you can see i gotten you know i have a little bit more crystals here i'm still packed up um ready to move but actually um everything i ever wanted i manifested very 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 quickly things were in alignment things were flowing and at that very last second i actually stopped before i signed the contract um because i took a look at um everything that i manifested which was absolutely everything i wanted but i'm like you know what there's certain things that I, I need to resolve yet before I actually take that next step to move on to where I was going. Okay, so that's the thing. It's all about balancing. We all can manifest everything that we truly desire and want, okay, at full speed, right? Or, you know, you go on your own flow, but then I'm like, okay, you know, there's still a few little things I have to resolve yet here, especially with my little baby girl here. Um, so I'm like, okay, take a step back. We know where you're going. You know what you want. You know where all of these things are, which is, which was a huge blessing, huge blessing. Okay, so Cancer, this moon also, by the way, it's a nurturer, motherly energy. So you guys could be dealing more with the mother issues, with fertility, with maybe it's your own mother, um, or maybe it's very well you could be feeling your mother or getting messages from your mother who has passed on. 
okay? So it's time to do some reflections and really heal that inner child within, okay? Um, you might have had more dreams about your mother too. Um, even if your mother is still with you, um, there's messages in that. Maybe it's time to go see your mother. Maybe it's time to heal that mother wound. Um, so really ponder on that as well. Okay, because a lot of rejection is coming up, a lot of abandonment issues from before in the past. So really take a look at that and reflect on that. Okay, a lot of healing, a lot of letting go is, is coming to the surface and has been coming to the surface. Like maybe you need to apologize to your mother or maybe you need to apologize to friend or family or your partners or, you know, your children or whoever it is, right? You know, don't, don't hold on to that anger and grudge and such like that. If you, you know, have said something that you're like, oh boy, you know, I shouldn't have said that or maybe you need to apologize. Hey, you know, I'm really sorry. I... I stepped out of alignment or, you know, whatever it is, right? That's up to you guys, right? Um, so it, it's it's important to work through that. It, it really is. Like if you wanted to apologize to somebody, apologize to somebody. It doesn't mean you're going to get back and have a friendship or a relationship or whatever it is, you know, with them. Um, it depends on them as well. It depends how badly you have hurt them or how badly they have hurt you as well. All right. So <laughs> as you can see, she loves my crystals. She hangs out around about it. When I start shuffling the cards, she's got, I'm going to have to move her though. Okay. <laughs> right. So I know she's my little baby, but anyways, don't get me started. I just love her so much. Um, we also have a lot of soulmate reunions coming. Um, also soul tribe reunions. A lot of soul connections are coming um, on the 28th and the 29th of this month with the solar or with the solar energy, I should say, too. I keep on hearing solar energy, solar energy. Um, we have another um, super full moon in, in July, too, by the way. Very powerful as well. Um, I'll talk about that in another video. So just be open to really connecting um, with, some, with your soul tribe. Like, I have soul tribes, like, all over the world, all over the world. And I connect with them daily. Um, you know, we all have our, you know, and soul tribes too is the people that you can really feel and connect that really get you and understand you. Okay, they're gonna support you in a positive way. They're not gonna put you down. They're not going to be negative, all right? They will actually really try to help you. Um, you know, work through things or where you can really be yourself. You know, when, when people are starting to judge you and being very judgmental, very jealous, um, like whatever it is, those are really low vibes and you can't be around that. You, you can't, well, that's up to you. I mean, that's another journey, of course. We all have our own walks in life as well. Okay, so be open to what this energy of the new moon encounter is going to show you. Okay, um, and you know, like if you want respect, if you want love, if you want truth, then you've got to show it. It's like what energy you you radiate out, it's going to come back to you. It, it really is. You want respect, show respect. You want love, show love. Okay, so... Be careful of that because law of vibration, law of frequency, law of attraction, all of that. Okay, so, you know, we don't walk away to teach people a lesson. Well, I don't. I walk away because I'm finally learned um, my lesson from people. So if somebody's walked away from me, if I have walked away from that person, it's because um, you know, there's lessons to be learned on both sides. Okay. But I walk away because I have finally learned my lesson with that energy. Okay. So, you know, Mercury retrograde brings back people from the past as well. And, you know, gives you that time to reset things as well, you know, to make things right to forgiveness, um, all of that. But that's, that's, that's another situation, right? So, you can always book a detailed reading with me and I will, um, you know, give you my insights even more so. All right. So let, let me pull a couple of cards here. Okay. For the collective, I'm going to use the gateway of light activation here, um, by Kyle Gray. Just make sure that you guys shuffle the cards three times, or I should say knock the cards three times on wood. Um, we'll get Bella's little um, insight on this. Okay. And let's have Bella. You're gonna, you're gonna pull a card for us there, baby. See, 
<laughs> Let us find out what spirit for the collective have in mind for us. What is the message from spirit? What? Is, oh, here we go. Right away. Wow. I'm loving this. Soul star activation. Fulfilling soul contracts. Remembering who you are. Okay. Absolutely. Like we all have soul contracts with everybody, even our little animals. So even if you are connected with somebody for a day, a month, a year, 20 years, 100 years, whatever it is, we all have contracts with each other. And as that contract is coming to an end, for whatever reason, you're going to get those pre-signs from spirit. I say it, that things are not working out anymore. Um, you guys aren't getting each other. It's just not working for whatever reason. And really pay attention to that. Okay, because whenever you try to keep things going and going and going, when it's not resonating with you, you're going to be like, oh my God, why am I getting drained? Why am I like, you know, stressed out? That's because you've got to honor the soul contracts. Okay, soul contracts when that relationship is up, it's over at this time. It can come back at another time perhaps, but sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so that journey is between you and your higher self. See the eagle here? This eagle is a high energy, energy being. This here is your crown chakra gold. It's telling you to listen to your soul, your higher self. What is your higher self telling you? Okay, so let's point and shuffle another card for the collective. What is spirit's message here for the collective for this new moon energy? What's the energy and the message from spirit for the collective? Woo! Wow, wow. Gaia gateway activation here. Learning experiences, wisdom, transmission, earth intelligence. Gaia energy, mother earth, mother nature is so beautiful and powerful. Take a look at whenever you guys get in touch with nature. Is it going to the woods, the mountains, the ocean, the lake? Whenever you do that, you're going to start getting messages from your soul because you're, we're all connected with Mother Nature. We're all connected with the energy of our soul. Whenever you meditate a lot more, like I meditate a couple of times a day. Actually, sometimes I can spend the whole day meditating in silence. And whenever I do that, I get a lot of messages coming in with my direction or, you know, whatever I need to hear from my soul meditation will open you up so it's really really important that you really take that time out to do that get in touch with nature if you guys really take a look if you go by water like a lot of empaths of course very sensitive and whenever you go by water they really resonate with it a lot more okay and some people they resonate with nature depend like on your past life right you know like some people are like you know what i prefer the mountains well that's what you connect with like personally myself the only mountains that i connect with are the himalayan mountains and the, and the the mountains in colorado i mean i live here in canada and i don't connect with the alberta rocky mountains at all i really don't um, but my energy is more himalayan and with colorado so i'm not even going to go up about that it is connected with previous lifetime i do a lot of past life akashic records as well and um it will help you um see where you are where you're headed to why you're connected with different things okay so let us also pull here a cards um i love this deck here gratitude oracle by and angela heartfelt her decks are absolutely beautiful Stunning energy, stunning energy. So let us see what we're all grateful for and gratitude. What is the message from spirit for this new moon energy? Wow, wow. Instantaneously right away. Like I get messages, um, like the cards fly out for me all the time, by the way. So um, this number here is the number 38. So some of you could resonate with the number 38. Um, eight plus three is 11, which represents the number two for new cycles as well. So if you take a look at this energy here of this fairy, I'm seeing a lot of fairy energy in here. You can see the wings on her, right? Fairy wings, angel wings, and angel wings, fairy, angelic energy and vibes, you know, get in touch more with mother nature, go outside and um, listen to the cosmic energies of the fairies. Like whenever I used to live in Ireland, 
I used to see fairies all the time, all the time. And, and I actually, I took a couple of photos of one. I don't really share it that much. I have with a couple of different people and you will see orbs here, right? Orbs floating around. So get in touch with your fairy sister within. Your, your inner child, your inner fairiness, as I call it, spread your wings and fly. Transformation is coming with this new moon. Like I, I've literally um, jumped into things just recently with trust, complete trust, because I'm ready for the new. So be open for it and let your soul guide you. So let's see what other messages that this new moon that spirit. I, I'm not feeling this energy, by the way. Um, I can feel the energy of cards very quickly. So um, whatever card that falls down, if I'm really feeling it, I will use it. What's the energy for the collective with this new moon energy? What's the collective energy? Ooh, oh, yes. Oh, I'm loving the vibe. Um, reveal, reveal. Let your soul reveal to you. Let it show you. We have some swans over here in the corner with the animals. Our animals too, by the way, are very sensitive. Um, if you've noticed the energy of the past week and a half, it was really intense, right? With the solstice energy, that solstice energy was so powerful and so strong. You might have felt like you were like in a zombie zone. Um, you know, it's like, you know what? I just saw this and then literally seconds later, it happened. Or I just dreamt that and seconds later, it happened. Or all of a sudden, you know, my dogs were beside me whenever they were outside. And as I'm looking out the window, my dogs were there and yet they're right beside me. So a lot of powerful energy was happening on that solstice energy. A lot of tears, a lot of people were messed up as I call it. I was slammed with calls that day. Oh my goodness. Um, so um, a lot of energies and a few animals had passed on. Whenever there's intense energies, animals can pass on. New moon energies especially. Pay attention to your animals. It's interesting. I have a, I have a few vet appointments coming up this week myself. Um, so the energy this week too is about the physical and spiritual. So the energy could very well work with you as well with your animals. So um, just to bring that up for you, if that could go on about that conversation, but maybe in another video. You guys have to tell me what you like to hear, by the way. If there's different subjects that you want me to talk about or different type of videos, let me know. Um, and, you know, make some comments below, by the way, you guys. So, but if you take a look at here, how this woman here has a bunch of flowers on her head, see the beauty surrounding her. Get in touch more with nature. We got a butterfly up there that represents transformation. We have cloud energy. Painting and artists, I'm really hearing. Like, make sure you guys are following your passions because whenever you're following your passions, it very well could lead you to your soul's destiny. Um, it can help you clear past karmic situations as well, okay? So beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. The green energy. We have, like, spring flower energy some of us are in the winter solstice some of us are in the summer solstice so wherever you are follow your bliss okay so let's pull a couple of crystals crystal what our crystals have to say to us today um i have um daily crystal inspirations with heather Askinois. probably pronouncing that wrong so again clear the cards you guys like as you can see i have some crystals here most of my crystals are packed. I've even packed a lot more because I am going to be moving. I even gave my kitchen table away here. So, uh, but look at this. I just wanted to share this with you. I, I was out and about and I kept on hearing I needed crystals. So I stopped in this location and I came across these, this crystal and that crystal. And I'm like, oh my God. And I, I go by the vibes of crystals. Like I will pick up an, a crystal and I'll be like, okay, what am I feeling? Is this for me? I get a lot of different messages and I'm like, oh my God, yes, I want that one. But then I saw this one too and I'm like, oh my God, like I love this energy. And it was so difficult to choose. And um, the lady, which was, she was very nice, by the way. She's like, you know, which one do you want? And I'm like, you know what? I have to take them both. Like I, I, I they're just so beautiful. They're just so, oh. I took them both. So I do spend a lot of money on crystals. I, I, I've i spent thousands of dollars on crystals. Um, when I move into my new place, um, I'm 
so looking forward to unpacking and I can share with you guys so much more with a lot of different things that I've got going on as well. But anyways, um, but yeah, so I love my crystals. Work with your crystals. They work with you. And um, people say, you know what crystal should I get, Jenny? And I'm like, whichever one you're drawn to, you know, um, like if I buy crystals, you know, I usually know ahead of time which ones that I want. But whenever I go into the store, um, the owners, they know me <laughs> and they give me the key to the glass showcase. They're like, you're Jenny, because they know that when I'm there, they give me their trolley, they give me their cart because they know I'm spending money. <laughs> so I will not go into um, a crystal store unless I set myself a budget. If I go into a crystal store and if I only have a little bit of money, I won't go because I know myself too well so but anyways don't let me ramble on because I can't so let's find out what the energy and the message is from spirit for the collective to help us through this new moon energy in cancer what's the message from spirit for the collective for the crystal that will help everyone what is the message from the crystals so, oh 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 yes oh I love I have this crystal by the way oh I, I miss it it's packed um, celestite it's so beautiful it's like a um, blue um, bluish with white crystals in it it helps you soothe your soul it's so beautiful and right now with this cancer energy that's what you want to do you want to soothe your soul okay it's the motherly energy it's a positive new moon it's for healing and letting go and embracing your emotions, walking in your truth. What a beautiful card. Oh, seeing these crystal cards, I, oh, I miss my crystals. I'm not buying any more. I'm not going, because where I'm going to, my goodness, my goodness, just you wait and see. So um, let's pull us another card. What's another message from the crystals for our collective? What's another energy? I wasn't feeling that card, by the way, you guys, um, and I'm not putting it over. So what's the message for the collective from the crystals? Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Black kyanite. Set strong boundaries. You know how I kept on saying earlier, self-love and you have to set boundaries? You have to do that because if not, you're going to get drained, like drained. Like I, I get slammed with so many messages. I have to set boundaries. Um, and it's not because I don't want to talk to certain people. It's just um, I can't work 24-7. I work 14, 16 hours a day as it is. So um, my clients are my priority, by the way. So um, it's important for you guys to set some boundaries and self-love. Start doing things for yourself. I love the energy of this because it looks actually like a face. I have a crystal that looks very similar to that. It's absolutely stunning of course it's packed and it's similar shaped like that and it looks like a, a chief um an energy chief of of a shaman so um that's another story as it is so but all right you guys um please subscribe to my channel um like the video and share it and write some comments below of um, what you would like to see with videos, um, what subjects you'd like me to talk about. Um, and let me know what's going on with your life. How are you guys going to utilize this energy? What's going on? Um, what are you struggling with? What do you need help with? Okay, so for those of you who want to book a reading, um, by all means, um, please do so. It's easier to send me a message through my website. Let me know where you're located, your time zone, because I do international readings all over. So I need to set the proper date and time that works both um, well for the both of us. Okay, so everyone have a beautiful cancer new moon one day at a time okay lots of love and light from me and bella take care